Just take a look at this. Well, well, that is GB News' own Jacob Rees-Mogg being chased and harassed by pro-Palestine demonstrators after speaking at an event at Cardiff University. Now, it's been revealed that the demonstrators were organised by Marxist-Leninist organisations, calling Jacob every abusive name under the sun and accusing him of being a Zionist. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Let's go to my panel, Lizzie and Matthew Larson. Lizzie, come oh, very briefly It's absolutely you. appalling, disgraceful and unacceptable. And I'm just thankful Jacob is OK. And he kept his calm there. Mm. Remarkable. But we've got to think back to the, the loss of uh, David Amos. You know, we, mm. we cannot have this happen. I, and, it's uh, the it, police, it's though. The, the weakness of the police. Well, this is what I was going to say. I think Rowley has to go. It, it, too much of this is going on. Matthew Larson. Yeah, I mean, look, I think it's absolutely awful that it happened. And people, I don't, you know, agree with Jacob uh, on many things, but I enjoy debating him, and that's yeah. what university life is all about. It's not about trying to stop people speaking. So disgraceful scenes. None of them were from the Labour Party. It was all from far, far left groups who also you hate the Labour Party. You don't know that, though. You don't. No, I think know they were, you don't know that's, that. That's the communist flag. Yeah, it's our yeah, flag. Well, Labour. Some yes. people would argue Labour. Oh, but they'd be wrong. <laughs> well, listen, Jacob Rees-Mogg said this. It was an, a legitimate and peaceful, if not if noisy, protest. The kind of university security team was exemplary, as both the protesters and I were able to give our views without fear or intimidation. The proper traditions of adversarial debate were upheld. Well, Was that well, inside or outside? Crikey, he's such I a gentleman. Yeah, no, he is a gentleman. A gentleman. Mm. He is a gentleman.